Crystal Wick here with our Beats Cafe where we have everything. Caffeinated, Beanie, and Cynthia. This is my um, partner in crime. I would have to say that in many ways. We get in a lot of trouble beating and now knitting. Oh, yes. we're naughty, we're naughty. But we love sharing it with you guys so you can come along with us on the journey. Yes. Glad to have you again, Cynthia. It's Thanks, always Crystal. fun. It is. And I am really excited to share our very, very first launch uh -huh. of... Crystal's collections. We're going to start having some collections. They're limited editions. Mm -hmm. When they're gone, they're gone. And they are handpicked by moi. And I wanted to put some of these things together that people have trouble with. So they don't have to pick everything out themselves. It's in one mm -hmm. nice big old bundle. And so I'm going to share some of these with you. I've had so much fun making these, putting them together. So let's start by looking at a few of them. And okay. oh my goodness. So I have some strands here. And what I did was take the strands and take some of the collections and make samples out of them. So when you get your collection, mm -hmm. it'll come with instructions to make the actual sample that I made. Now I add a few more ingredients. So it's kind of like baking a cake. You start with your collection and then you add some other things. But I made sure they were simple. You might have them in your stash already or they're easy to find on our website. So with this nice kind of an olivey green, the first, oh, I made the earrings mm -hmm. to go with yes. those. And I thought those were really great for office wear. You know, because a lot of times we, I like over the top stuff, of course. But a lot of times we need something to wear to the cube farm, mm -hmm. right? Or wear <laughs> to our office. And I thought this was really nice. And so you can see I made the earrings there are hardly any components to that so you could probably make I'm gonna say probably probably 12 to 15 pairs of earrings out of your one collection I mean okay. there are that many beads right. that come with it that's great I know yeah. isn't it and they're really fun I really love the shape of oh those. good thanks I thought those were kind of a little woo yes. nice they're fun to wear then the next one we have of course we have to do pinks mm -hmm. because whether you're doing your breast cancer awareness or you everybody likes pink oh my goodness yes. we love the pinks so we have that and then the red that's next to it this is very interesting there's kind of a gold finish on the red beads and so I made a sample of the earrings and then a matching bracelet right next to it and all I did was string mm -hmm. very easy and then add chain so you get a double whammy which I really love when you wear bracelets it's fun to have the extra texture yeah especially yes. the chain. Mm -hmm. And so I just added a little chain there and again a few little crystals and you're good nice. to go. And there were extra beads so this did not use the whole collection. Nice. You can make a few of these. Okay. And what I like is, um, like you said, there is some sparkle on the beads and it goes really well with the chain. Yes. Really I like to tie them together. Mm -hmm. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the next one we have another kind of a um, neutral palette there so to speak which was really really fun the one next to that oh my goodness I love yes. those shells the Nautilus shells yes. and I made this beauty with that this guy oh my goodness I've got to stop is. saying that but it's really <laughs> hard um, I added chain along the edge of it mm -hmm. and it's really one long strand but you can double it or you can wear it long or you can knot it Mm -hmm. So it's very, very fashion forward right now to be wearing right. these really long strands. Right. And so I thought this would be good. There's no toggle clasp or anything. I just used a crimp and okay. closed it and you just wrap it around your head. Okay. Or your wrist for bracelet. Right. And, and I love the way how you did the chain. This I, is such a great idea. Isn't that fun? And you could use different chains. You could use mix and match your metals, which would be really fun too. So you could use the chain you already have at home. You know, right. it's just really nice to add some of these elements that um, gives it an added texture, which that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yay. Thank you. And then we have this guy here. Oh, this is one of my personal favorites because why? <laughs> Looks like the ocean. <laughs> it's, blue. So, it's blue and there are shells in there too. I love the ocean. And I made this necklace out of that lovely collection. And again, mm -hmm. it's a double strand and you, it comes with all these different beads that all go together. So that's the best part. If there are some beads in there that you don't like, just move them to side and you've got a beautiful collection that everything goes. It's a guarantee. Mm -hmm. So I just added a chain to the top, a double strand. Very easy. Again, it's just stringing. And that's all the nice. collections will come with the, the steps to make all the projects that okay. I've made here. So that's nice that's and easy. Great. Isn't that fun? Yes. This guy, okay, so now this guy here, oh, very fun. This bracelet is a memory wire bracelet. Now what I love about memory wire, which sometimes we forget as we become, I don't know, 
involved in more of the beating, we yeah. kind of forget some of the earlier things that mm -hmm. we started with, and memory wear is one of them. I like it because it's really easy. Everybody can do it, right? And I added these little dangles on the end, see if you can see those, to finish it off. So then it looks like you've got some movement when you wear it, and it yes. looks finished. Uh -huh. And it looks a little fancy, if you ask me. So I made those, and then I made some earrings to match. Again, out of the whole, the same collection, you have a lot of beads to do different mm -hmm. things with. So you can make it as elaborate or as simple as you want. We have another, oh my goodness, this middle one here. Oh, that is so pretty. isn't that fun? Cynthia, do you yes. want to pick that up and like, show it off a little bit? It's so, f that I used, that was really fun. Some um, wire wrapping. So I did some wire wrapping. And very simple, easy, threw a little wire in there, and it comes again with the beads and the beautiful focal, mm -hmm. gorgeous, gorgeous collection. And you put seed beads on the uh, jump ring. I put I seed beads on the jump great ring. idea, too. Yeah, because again, it kind of gives it a lot of movement mm -hmm. when you're wearing it. And that's a simple, everything here is very simple to make. I made sure that our examples are easy mm -hmm. so that even the beginner can make it, but they're interesting enough for more mm -hmm. advanced. Yes. So I just yes, love yeah. that one. And then the one next to it, oh, cute, little butterflies. I think that might be a good one for you, Cynthia, since you're waiting for spring desperately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have little butterflies in there. Oh, and the greens and the ambers and the colors are just ooh, ooh la la. And then this guy over here, this is another collection. I made earrings out of that collection, and it has a ton of extras. So you can make earrings, bracelet, mm -hmm. and necklace to go with this set. Really yeah, but again, I made simple things, so maybe you want to make 10 pair of earrings, or maybe you want to make a whole set, so it's kind of up to you. But um, that's the tour of our beautiful collections. Really fun. Crystal's collections, and we'll be having Cynthia's collections coming up in a later time. <laughs> but for now, just wanted to share this with you guys, and we're excited. It's time for our Q&A session, and this time we have Helen in Indiana, and she asks, how do I crimp properly, mm -hmm. and what is the difference between a crimp bead and a crimp tube? Okay. Take it away. Okay. Well, a crimp bead, it's round, like a bead, and a crimp tube is like a tube, and I personally use crimp tube. Um, Those are my favorites, too. Yes, I think it's, it all depends which one you prefer mm -hmm. to work with. And um, crimping is really easy. There are some little steps that I can show you now. Great. Okay, let's start. So for crimping, you need the crimp tubes. They're here, just teeny, teeny tubes here. And then the crimp tool. And the crimp tool is the one that's going to make it perfectly looking really nice and uh, finishing. And then I have here some crimp cover that will cover the tube. I love crimp covers, yeah. don't you? Yes. They add such a nice finishing touch. They do, they do. And they look like a bead. Yeah. It's closed. So you take your, imagine I have a string of uh, pearls in here already, and you pick up your cream tube, and then you add uh, the toggle, and you go back in your crimp, like that. And there is a little loop here. I don't like when this loop is too big, mm -hmm. so I like to put it back on the wire a little, but don't bring the cream tube too close to the loop. Yeah, you don't bar. want them touching, like yes. the toggle bar to touch the crimp. Yes, that's going to create too much friction and then it can break. So now I'm going to take my cream, my cream tool and you have two little um, holes here and I'm going to start with the second one and I make sure that the cream tube is really well placed in the middle and I like to separate my two uh, pieces of wire like that because when you crimp, so you tie it very well, it's creating here two little walls and you want those wire being on each wall. Mm -hmm. That's why your crimp doesn't slide. A lot of people say I crimp with a crimp tube, but I lost my necklace because it came apart. It's because you really have to make sure that those pieces of wire are inside the, the, those two little walls. So I did it this way, and now I'm going to take it vertically, and I'm going to go on the other. So you move oh. it vertically, and yes. then you're putting it in the first notch. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I need to make sure that the tube also is very straight, like that. And I tight. A good handshake. 
and that's it. Easy, easy, and really, really strong. So I'm done crimping. Now you can cut your wire here. And I will show you how to put now a cream cover. You just slide, you just put in it your cream tube. Like that. And I like to hold it like that with my index finger. And you take your chin nose pliers and you just close the cream cover. And what I like to do is to push also a little on the side here. Yeah, you kind of reshape it, it a little yes, bit, right? to make it perfectly round. I think a lot of people squish it the wrong way and think they ruined it, but you can actually just shape it a little bit with your pliers and it's fine. Yes, so this, like that. And I want to show you another, another little tip. So here, I'm done with my bracelet and I crimp and I put a cream cover on this side and I want to do on on the other side, so again, I'm taking my cream tube, putting the other side of the clasp, going back, oops, going back in the cream tube, and you can slide the cream cover until it goes against your bead. So you're thinking, okay, now I can crimp like that. But my advice will be lift first mm -hmm. your piece. Just lift your piece, make sure that all your beads I hang well. And then here you can bring your cream tube down and pull on this wire to bring it everything up. And now you can crimp. That's a great tip. So Helen, I hope that answered your question. Thank you, Cynthia, for showing us how to do it You're the right way. <laughs> And we hope you had a good time joining us on Art Beats Cafe. Feel free to join us and sign up for the newsletter or sign up for YouTube so we'll let you know when our next Art Beats Cafe comes out. And always, happy beating.